Hey guys, it's Jazzaya. Today we are going to be talking all about my lighting. I'm so excited to talk about my lighting today because it's one of my favorite things to talk about. Honestly, if you have a shitty camera, but you have bomb ass lighting, your quality is going to look crisp, clear. You're gonna have like that soft looking filter on your face. Like I don't have a filter on my face right now. And that's not because of my camera. My camera does not create this at all. That is my lighting that gives me like that glowy look. So if you're doing makeup or anything like that, you definitely want to keep watching this video because I'm going to show you all of my little secrets. How I create this flawless, bright, blurry background. So let's get started. So currently I am using lights that you've probably never even seen before because a lot of influencers are using ring lights. They're using soft boxes. That is not what I use at all. I don't like the look of them. I feel like they're cheap looking. So like a soft box and a ring light, compared to the price of what I paid for all of these, it's like the same exact thing, but this is so much better quality. I wanted to get a lot of LED lights and lights that didn't heat up my room. So that is exactly what you're gonna see today. These lights do not heat up your room. So I'm gonna take everything off right now. You're going to see what it looks like and it's so much darker, not as nice. Like my makeup doesn't look as nice and it's kind of, makes me insecure, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like if I had no lights on and I was just showing you guys straight from my camera. Of course, you can change your settings and get a little bit more light into it, but it's not going to look as good. It's not gonna look as crisp and clear. That's my little secret. If you wanna have crisp and clear looking videos, lights is everything it's not the camera that you buy so the first light i want to talk about it's my favorite first i heard it from carly bible she uses a similar light to this and it goes straight onto the top of my camera now this light changed everything for me it creates such a soft look onto my face and lights up the whole room you have like a dimmable light onto it so you can control if you want it warm or cooler which in my videos i always like to have that cool looking tone this thing gets so bright i don't even have it up the whole way it just lights up my whole room with just this on it is honestly so bright and so good and flattering on the face that you could probably just use this light alone and not have to purchase anything else. If you're gonna go ahead and buy any light, I would suggest getting the light on top of my camera. It's going to do a thousand times better than what a ring light would do and really flatter your face and get rid of all of your dark circles and all of the dark area shadows. Favorite light ever. For my second light, I'm gonna show you the same brand as the one on top of my camera. It's the same brand. It's just kind of made differently and it's actually like a lot brighter. So this one can actually go on top of your camera as well. So instead of having the other one that I have, if you just purchase this, this could go on top of your camera. So you can see that it gives that really soft look onto the face. It kind of gives that like flawless look and it's so nice. So yeah, so what I've been doing with this one is I just put it straight in front of me. It gets rid of that kind of shadow that I usually have. So when I take it off, you can see that there's like a harsh shadow and my skin doesn't look smooth. So when it's down here, it makes this whole part of my neck look really smooth and it's been my secret little weapon. So I'm gonna turn on the top one and just this one so that you can see exactly what it does if you had only two of these lights. So this is what it would look like if you just had two of these lights. It is so flawless onto the skin. Like you don't even see any of these like darkness or my lines on my neck. I have really bad lines onto my neck. And so I hate that showing into the camera. So when I have this light down below, it gets rid of it completely and gets rid of any like wrinkles that I have. So right now I have it behind me because I did start filming at 4 a.m. this morning. So it's such a great light just to put behind and put on like maximum and it lights up my whole background. My softbox light behind me right here doesn't do that at all. It just kind of gives me like a glow behind my head. So I, I use it, like it's better than nothing. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick on the filters I can get for the both lights. So the one on top of my camera and the one below me. These are the filters that you can get. So if you've ever liked those influencers that have those cool blue backgrounds and it's like so awesome looking and it kind of gives like a whole vibe to their set, this is what they're using. They could have neon lights and stuff like that, but this does the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead with the blue. This just works for everything. It gives you a smooth face gives you that cool blue light into the background, lights up your background, lights up everything. This is just the light to have. Let me put the red. See what that, I'm actually curious on what it gives. 
You know what? I'm gonna plug this in closer so that you can really, really see. So yeah, you get that red look kind of look behind you. If that's what you were going for, this light does that. So you can put it like right here or you can put it down onto the ground and have it shining up and it would kind of just give that like kind of feel. You know what? That's actually really cute. I might even use that from now on. And I will be leaving all the links to the lights in the description down below. Don't you worry. And they're all from Amazon. I actually really like that. I think it's so cute, especially for Valentine's Day. When Valentine's Day comes, I'm so ahead of myself. Or Christmas. This light is honestly like a beauty influencer dream come true. Now we're moving on to my barn door lights. I got these first because an influencer, I'll put her name down below, and she talked about these lights and she said something like James Charles lights are like similar to these. So as soon as she said that and she picked those up and her quality is so good. So I picked these up and honestly, they're way better than soft boxes. I used to have two soft boxes here and it would create so much heat. And then when I got these, oh my God, it saved my life for the heat. Like, oh my God. These are definitely like the perfect lights that you would put on each side of you just to take away any shadows from your hair and make your hair look good. It just really brightens up the room. Um, I wouldn't say that these are a must. You could use soft boxes instead of these, but they are definitely better than soft boxes and around the same price. And I use the light bulbs that came with them. I know that the influencer, um, she said something like, if you got different light bulbs, I'll put that video that she's talking about it down below so that like she can explain it better. But she said if you got different light bulbs, it'd be exactly almost like James Charles lights. But I ended up not getting the light bulbs and I like them anyway. Like their, their light bulbs are strong enough. The only downside I would say is that it's a little bit bulky. So it does take up most of your room and I don't like lights that do that. So at one point I remember taking them away but it did kind of cause a lot more shadows and it didn't give me that like bright feel that I love, this like really bright background. It didn't give me that anymore. So I brought them back out, but it's just the fact of if you're in a small space and you're filming, it can get a little bit bulky with these ones. So that's the only downfall I would say. Otherwise, these are great lights. There's no heat that comes from them. They're really bright and they're really good quality for their price. If you're looking for side light, I definitely recommend these over soft boxes any day. Like I really do recommend these lights. They are so good if you can afford a little bit of an extra amount. Like I said, if you can only get one light, get the one on top of my camera. But if you can start affording a little bit and you invest into your YouTube channel, oh my God, these lights are so good. So now for the light behind me, I do really think it's important to have a light shining just behind you sometimes you will see that i don't like sit right in front of me and you can like see it in the camera sometimes like this and i completely don't notice until i'm editing and i'm like oh oh okay <laughs> i thought i was doing amazing <laughs> but i did have them already and i didn't want it to go to waste so i have the softbox light right here behind me it doesn't do too much like you can see like it brightens it I did have to change the bulbs though. I put like a daylight bulb into them. That's how I got that white color shining. This does give a lot of heat though, like a lot of heat. My whole room will get hot just if this one's on. All of my other lights, it's completely fine. But as soon as I turn this one on and it's like right behind me, it gets hot. So eventually I will be ordering another light, either the one that's on top of my camera or the one that shines down onto my face. I will be ordering another one of those. I'll probably order two of those and have that as my background and place them onto the ground because they're so bright that you can just place it onto the ground and I won't have to have this bulky thing behind me anymore. This thing here needs a stand so I can't just put it down on the ground. But the little one for my face, it has that little hook on the bottom that it just tilts upward and it could be straight onto the ground so i would not need this anymore eventually i will get that but i've invested so much into my channel so far that i'm kind of like okay so yeah i wouldn't suggest getting a soft box for behind you but i do recommend having a light behind you it really does make a difference like i showed you it makes a humongous difference i mean I mean, this is pretty too, but if you're obsessed with that white background like I was, yeah, you definitely need a light behind you. So yeah, that is my lighting in my studio. This was such a quick and short video, but I just wanted to show you guys what I am working with to really create high quality content because it's not my camera doing it, it really is my lights. And if you're filming with a phone or if you're filming with a cheaper camera, I don't want you guys to think that you have to buy a super duper great camera to be filming. Save your money 
and get a really good light. Don't go ahead and get like what every influencer is getting, like the ring lights and the soft boxes. I don't think those are good at all. You're just gonna be hot and it's not gonna give enough light onto you. So I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys liked something that you've seen. If you did, comment down below and let me know. And I hope this wasn't too short. If it was, sorry. If you guys have any questions on these lights, let me know down below and I will answer them for you. Oh, and make sure to check out my YouTube series. I'm coming out with some YouTube tips and tricks series so if you guys want to see more tips and tricks make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified every time I upload and I'll see you guys in the next bye guys room 2110 I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite cuz I needed more from you oh I wanted an explanation red solo cups all over the floor and your friends passed out